A letter to you, my dear friend. Chapter One: Pouring My Heart Out. It seems so far yet so familiar to be writing and talking to you again, like reconnecting with an old friend you haven't talked to in years, but you feel deeply connected to by all the memories you share. In the past year, I've shared a lot of my passion and my personal life, so having been gone for the past couple of months felt strange and unfamiliar. But it was necessary and important for me to take some time to myself. In these past months, my life changed completely. From moving to the countryside to going back to school and feeling like I might lose myself and all the changes, but I didn't. I came out on the other side, feeling like my own true self again, feeling confident to take control over my life again and working on my dreams and aims. I feel like so much has changed that I don't even know where to start. So just like writing to an old friend, I'm gonna follow my heart and let the words flow onto the pages. I pour out my heart on these pieces of paper, and I hope you, whoever you might be receiving or reading this, will be kind and understanding with my soul. Chapter two: Life changes. How does it feel to be without a home? This question, asked by Bob Dylan in one of my favorite songs, kept reverberating in my head for what felt like an eternity. Because no matter how hard I tried to make my old apartment feel like a home, I simply couldn't. All the hours turned into days I spent renovating and decorating made me realize that this place would never feel like home to me. The deep longing for a place that truly felt like home, combined with the feeling of losing myself, overwhelmed me and broke my heart. I felt lost in the darkness, not seeing a light anymore. And then I fell in love. It was one of those moments where you can't explain it, but all of a sudden everything falls into place, and after all this time, I finally felt like my own true self again. So I decided to give it a shot. I put my heart on a silver plate and moved to the countryside with him. After having spent all my life in buzzing cities surrounded by bright lights, I would have never imagined the beautiful, peaceful quietness. Of living on the outskirts of a small town in the woods of the Swabian Alps. Chapter three: A new life. There are hundreds of souls arriving and leaving the earth day by day. It happens all around us, all the time, but we don't seem to care as long as these aren't our loved ones. There are things in life that you might not plan, but there's a bigger universal plan above all of us. One day, maybe the stars align perfectly, or maybe it's just fate. Some might even call it destiny. The moment the universe shows you the plan it has for you, all that echoed in my head the day I sat in my doctor's office and heard the little heartbeat for the first time. An unreal moment followed by an overwhelmingly beautiful and happy feeling that warmed my heart. It was one of those moments in which you know your life is about to change forever. But in that moment, I felt so full of love that I wasn't afraid. It felt like the first step of an amazing journey into a new chapter of my life, into which I want to introduce you, my dear friend. So take my hand and follow me. I would love to take you along. Yours truly, 